Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade repair video for you today. We are working on this super sweet Cruisin' Exotica arcade game. One of my favorites of all of the times. And uh, we're trying to get this thing ready so that we can sell it. We actually had this one a while back that we bought, uh, that we sold. Someone had it for years and then they have traded it back in on something. So we're, uh, we're going to work on it a little bit. We've about got it ready. Needs a little bit of adjustment. Um, but I thought that I would show you uh, the deal with the seat. We've done this before. But uh, it's a cool video because it's a little encapsulated video. It's kind of neat whenever you can do a video about one little thing, right? So this is something that's very common on these machines. So what am I talking about? Well, the seat on these driving games often will not adjust properly. And it's a big pain. Now, I have a ton of these driving games in right now. So I figured I'd show you some of the ones that I have in. Now, we'll walk over here. And then we'll, we'll mess with the seat, and you can see how it is on the other ones as well. So this is an upright. It doesn't even have a seat. We're fixing this for a gentleman. We had this years ago, too. Guy brought it back. Wanted us to swap out the monitor in it, so we did. But that's, that one's not going to have a seat problem. <laughs> we have, are you ready for this? Linked Cruising USAs with LED uh, flat screen monitors in them. I don't know if I filmed a video of that, but we had these years ago too, and we sold it to the YMCA, and they beat the crap out of them, and we recently bought them back. Now look at... Look at all the rust and stuff on them. I don't even know how that happened. It was in the YMCA. How did it get all messed up like that? I have no clue, right? But we have those two. We have a California Speed here that we're still working on. The board's messed up on it. We've got the control panel off because it's in various states of disrepair. The seats look a little different, but they're all, they're all the same setup, basically. So next to the California Speed, we have a off-road challenge with a similar seat, slightly different. And then finally, we have yet another California Speed. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I have six of these driving games, all with the same seats on them. And then I've also got a stand-up. Um, so we're going to look at this cruising, though, and uh, um, I'll show you what the seats end up doing and then how you can fix it inexpensively. So I ordered some fruit, some, <laughs> some food um, for delivery and they were calling me. I am not kidding you. They just called me and asked me if I wanted it on regular bread or gluten-free bread. So I told them regular was fine or gluten-free, whichever. I'm not real picky. I honestly don't even know what gluten-free bread is. I think it's like it doesn't rise or something. I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't even know if it would taste any different. I know it's supposed to be healthier, but I don't, I don't know. Very strange. All right, back to what we were doing. So the seats. So this one, nice and solid. It's locked in place, okay? They have this little ball on the front that you move to the side. It unlocks the seat, and then the seat can be moved and then it locks back in place, right? So you need it like that for someone smaller in stature. I won't say short, but you know, a child or something. This one, see how it just moves? So it's messed up. You can push it to the side and kind of get it to lock into place. But it's an issue, right? This one. It's locked in place. This one's pretty good. Now, a lot of times you can't just move it with your hand. You have to be sitting on it because it needs a little weight to move it. But moved it, it locked in place. So that's a good one. This one. Still working good. This one. Still working good. 
and this one's the one we're working on now. It will just move all over the place. And when you go to look at the, the knob, it's just loose. Okay, and so we're gonna take it all apart, take a look at it and figure out what we need to do to get that thing working right like most of those other ones are. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, get some uh, tools and we'll start taking it apart. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is take this plate off here that the seat's attached to. And so you need security torques bits. Now this one is a T25. See how it has a hole in the top? So it's star shaped or I guess there's six points and there's a hole in the top. And uh whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to take that off. Now if you're messing around with arcade games, they have tons of these on them, so these are a good thing to have. Uh, as you can see, this screw actually has like a little piece in this in the middle of it. I guess they didn't want people disassembling the games in the middle of the arcade back in the day. <laughs> so you got to take those off. There should be six of them on the machine, and the problem is sometimes they get dirt all in the the uh, head so that your bit won't get in there and get a good bite on it. So you may have to take something and kind of clean the dirt out of it first if it's because these things get filthy. Um, so you might you might have to clean that out first. Um, but whenever you get it clean, cut them out. Another uh, take them out. Another problem is sometimes they'll be stuck. So what you can do, it'll destroy the screw. You'll have to order new ones, but you can cut a line across the face of the screw and use like a more traditional screwdriver to turn it out if you want. But uh, take those six screws off, and that's step one. Okay, so we got those off, and once you do, you can just pick up on the seat. And you're down to the base. So, there's two levels of broke. <laughs> if the thing will not stay to the right, it, you can push it to the left and it just stays there there's a spring in here that's broke. So sometimes you can fix it by just replacing that, that spring. But if you push it to the right and you can't get it to lock, looks like I might be all right on this one. If you push it to the right and you can't get it to lock, then the, the actual tracks are bad. You have to mess with that. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these four bolts loose, these four nuts loose, so that we can move this plate out of the way and see what's going on down there underneath it all. So uh, I'll go grab a, uh, a socket and we'll take those off and see what it looks like. Okay, we got the four nuts off. Now usually you can just mess with this plate and get it up out of the way and reveal this side here. And almost always, your problem will be that spring is broke, just like that one. Um, now, you can replace just the spring, but like I said, you see the way the whole thing works. There's a little lever that you can manipulate with your hand, and it pushes like a kind of like a spike into slots in the rail down here. And so when you push it to the left, it disengages and you can move the track up and then the spring pulls it back to the right okay and so it stays the whole time you're sitting on it it's locked in place because the spring is holding it to the right by the way it'll only lock in certain places because there's like little indentions I'll show you here in a minute so if you push it in the, the little you, you can't get it to lock in place it's because this the tip of this metal piece is all bent up and messed up and you, you basically have to replace the entire sliders. So if you have to replace these uh, slides, they're like $40 from HAP, but the problem is you have to take this plate off and just like you had problems with the, the bolts that go in the side, these things, see how they've been painted over like four times already? They get filthy, and it's even worse because they're sticking up in the air. 
they get they get dirty they get rusty see the rust this is a metal plate so there's two here and then two in the front you have to take those loose to get this plate to come off and when you get that plate off then you can unbolt these rails from the other side it's not threaded there's a uh, there's a nut on the other side and you can't get it to it from the bottom of the uh, the seat you have to take this plate off it's hard to do it can be done but it's hard to do but it looks like luckily on this one it's just the springs broke so let me go grab the spring and I'll uh, I'll show you what we're going to uh, replace so here is a new version of that seat rail that they have redesigned a little bit um, so that the spring works a little better but you see basically what I'm talking about. On this one it works a little bit different because they have two teeth that can grab it. And then this is the one that goes on the other side which is basically three wheels but since it's attached to the bottom of the seat they move in tandem. Okay. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna measure that here in a minute just to make sure it's the right one. And then here are the springs. And there is your part number, 50-8589-00. Suzo Hap. They make these all the time because they break on every single one of these machines. So sometimes you have to replace them a couple times. <laughs> so there's plenty of them out there. You can't order them directly from Hap though because they've got a minimum order. We do because we just buy a bunch of stuff at one time. Since we're a shop, we you know we have other stuff we can buy and we'll use it eventually. So I can order you know four or five of these no problem um, and I can order five or six sets of these slides no problem and get the where, where we're past the minimum order uh, but if you just need one of them uh, if you go on eBay you can find people that that sell them uh, that's what you need so I'm gonna go let's go hold this up to the old slides and see if they look like they're the same length and then we'll uh, see if we can get that that spring finagled in there Okay, so there's the new style one, as you can see. They line up. It's just a, it's just a little bit, slightly different design. Where it uses two teeth instead of one. And the, the spring is external, or, you know, a little different. So that it's less likely to break. Um, so, the fun part is figuring out which end of the spring goes where. So I believe the hooked part goes up there or at least that's how that one was and then this part needs to go in here so it appears I can't even remember which side to put in first <laughs> so that's locked in place so it it needs to go in that hole all right. easier said than done. So I'm going to put it in first and then once I get it in there I'm going to use a big pair of pliers to stretch that around until I get it in that hole up there. Wish me luck. Okay, so yeah I got that in, in first and then this end, the easiest way I was able to do it was just take a screwdriver and just use it as a fulcrum to push it up until the little hook popped in the hole and then you kind of finagle it a little bit and it went in as far as it needs to go. So, that, well, I got this all screwed up, but that will allow it to pull our handle back to the right. So uh, I'm going to put the plate back around, get the bolts back up in it, and we'll see what that does. Now whenever you do that, there is a little spacer here on top of the bolt and then also the bolts will fall down to where they don't stick up far enough to go through the plate so you have to kind of slide these rails all the way back and do it at the back where you can put something under the bolt to hold it up through the hole in the plate while you put the nut on it and then hold it up uh, so that it won't spin these are carriage bolts but there is a 
see how the hole is actually square so it will actually hold them from turning if you have them elevated they'll turn right now so I can't put the nut on it but if you can lift if you can get them up in the air by sticking a screwdriver under it or something or pulling it back to where you can put your hand under it if it's in that hole then it won't move while you tighten up the nut so uh, let me uh, I'll clean it up a little bit and we'll slide that back around and put it on it and see if we can get it uh, see if we can get it where it goes all right so generally the plate will go back to about the back of the um, the cat the uh, seat and won't go any farther back so it's locked in place there if I adjust it locks in place there or there so we're good okay so we're gonna put the seat back on it and then I guess we got to test play it damn it here we go again with the play in the games <sighs> Yeah, it's a discolored a little bit over here. That's just because we've been moving it, so we need to degauss it. Hit it with the degauss ring. It's very buzzy. Look, looks just like me. All right, all right, we're gonna take it to town. I got it turned up. Deal with it, people. We're going to do auto. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up? Ready? Let's go. Why does it say ant? Oh, it says run. Who tries to pass me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What happened? Right there. Hey, look, they want me to put more money in. Vegas.
Come on now. They're messing me up. Doing so good. And then I'll deem this done. Martians are so cute. Martians are so cute. what driving on Mars must be like. I didn't need to knock the camera over. All right, I deem it fixed. The seat is holding in place just fine. So hopefully that'll help you fix yours. So you can play this great game like I just did. Look how cool it is. Look how awesome. Cruising Exotica. Love it. Back in the heyday of great arcade driving games. Nothing like uh, Nintendo and Midway teaming up, right? Love it. All right, folks, so there you go. Well, I guess Nintendo didn't have anything to do with the arcade game. Their logo's not anywhere on it. Nintendo did the home version. <laughs> or I guess Midway did it, too. You know what I'm talking about. 
Nothing like a good midway driving game. So uh, leave your comments below. I hope that helps you fix your seat if yours is messed up. If not, you might have to re you might have to replace those those rails as well. You can also replace you, you know you can take all that stuff apart by taking that whole plate off. But the the whole point of the the way we're doing it is that plate is really hard to, really hard to get off. Excuse me, uh, because those bolts uh, by sticking straight up in the air they just get so much crap in them. Very hard to take them off without breaking it. And then you got even bigger problems. So do it the way I do it. <laughs> uh, so leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you and to drive a little bit with you tonight. Um, and uh, make sure you check out our brother channel. Have you all been checking that out? I know a lot of you have because I've been seeing you over there. But we have a second channel now that my brother runs called My Brother Donnie. He's really my brother Donnie, but he can be your brother too. I asked him if that if he thought that was okay. He said that'd be just fine. You can call him your brother as well if you want. And uh, he and I are always doing something cool over there, but it's mostly him. But uh, lately we bought, a, we bought an old dilapidated building in a, a small town near, near here. And we fixed it up and are trying to rent it out. And now we're moving on to another building. And <laughs> Lots of fun. Good times for all involved. So if you watch that, he's actually crazier than I am. So you might enjoy it. Uh, and then also, uh, we'd like to thank everybody that's been using our Amazon links. If you don't know about that, look how they took the Mustang logo out of the front of the car. Come on now. <sighs> if you don't know about the Amazon links, if you, if you go down below our videos, there is a link to Amazon in several different countries. If you click that link, it takes you to Amazon. And then if you buy anything after you went there, it gives us a little tip. So we appreciate everybody that's been doing that. Uh, we also just just uh, started having t-shirts made. So if you're looking for t-shirts <laughs> or other uh, collectibles, merch, I think they call it. If you're looking for some merch, I might get one that says, I don't know what gluten-free is, but it sure tasted good. Uh, if you're looking for uh, some merch, uh, click down below our video and it will take you over to our store or whatever. And you can click it. I don't know. I saw it. You know, I set it up. But hey, you just click the buttons. I don't know what, where, how, how it's all running and all that. <laughs> you can get our new t-shirt printed out. It's really cool. Desi designed by our buddy Matt, the arcade guy. Not, there's two Matts. There's video game Matt and then there's arcade game Matt. So Arcade Game Matt is the guy that came by and played our uh, our Spy Hunter. He's pretty cool at Spy Hunter. And the gentleman that bought our gauntlet, he has a channel on here too, Elvin Forge. I, I, I tweet that out or tweet. <laughs> I send that out sometimes to the uh, to the the uh, people that subscribe to us. So if you uh, uh, if you have seen him, he designed our T-shirt. He's pretty good at it too. So. Uh, check that out, and I uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video. We will see you on the next one. Y'all have a good night.